Do you have a fat, stingy grandma? Have you ever wanted one? Well, today's your lucky day because on this episode of the Dandy Funhouse, we're going to unbox, assemble, and play none other than the game of Greedy Granny. Let's step into the funhouse. <laughs> Where am I? You just entered the Dandy Funhouse. Hello and welcome to the Dandy Funhouse video show, podcast, and blog. This is where we hoard all the retro pop culture, toys and games, and all the fun treats we can find. I'm your host, Neil Dandy, and today we're going to get into a game that's been around since about 2018 and started off as a Toys R Us exclusive. Now, obviously, Toys R Us isn't around anymore, but now this game can be found just about everywhere, and the fact that it's had the staying power to endure on the toy and game aisle shelves for this long is a testament to its appeal. I'm talking about the game of Greedy Granny by Goliath Games. Try saying that ten times fast. From Deutschland! But before we get into our Greedy Granny game, I want to show you these awesome dandy Funhouse t-shirts! <laughs> You can find them on our website at dandyfunhouse.com. Available in a variety of colors. Front and back so you don't get cold. And we even cut four holes in them. One to crawl your body into. One to stick your head out of. And two to poke your arms through. While you're there, also check out our new No Robots t-shirt. That's right. Tell Cyberdyne exactly where to stick it. Now let's learn a little more about Goliath Games. The history of Goliath Games is actually a love story about two people named Adi and Margrethe Golod, who fell head over heels for each other during a game of Rummy Cub while visiting the Israeli desert. Now we don't know if it was the moon or the Manischewitz, but in addition to their newfound passion for each other, they also developed a burning for the game of Rummy Cub. When Marguerite returned home to the Netherlands, she shared this game with her family, who also became consumed with an unquenchable thirst for the game. They had rummy cub fever, and the only cure was more rummy cub. Marguerite and Adi soon reconnected and decided to not only join together in holy matrimony, but to also join together in a business venture to bring Rummy Cub to the masses, and in 1980 founded Goliath Games. Adi left his mechanical engineering career and traded in his car for 500 games of Rummy Cub, which he sold on the streets of the Netherlands. Obviously not out of the trunk of his car, I'm guessing a lot of his conversations were with Rummy Cub set on a blanket and him saying, psst buddy. Now, there were challenges along the way, but when they were hungry, Rummy Cub kept them alive. Thank you, Timothy B. Schmidt. Nonetheless, Adi and Margrethe persisted on their all-out Rummy Cub rampage and proceeded to build the game into the iconic multi-generational classic that it is today. In fact, the game eventually became so popular that it set the world record as the most number of games played per capita in a single year. Goliath Games and Rummy Cub still hold this record to this day. Come at me, Rummy Cub naysayers. Together, Adi, Marguerite, and Rummy Cub set the world on fire while also setting the foundation of Goliath Games and grew it into a leading global manufacturer of toys and games in over a dozen countries worldwide. Their slogan? Clever together. Adi and Marguerite Golad, the dandy funhouse video show, podcast, and blog would like to give you a full-fisted Rummy Cub salute to you. Now let's get into this game of Greedy Granny. Now, for a game that's been around since 2018, I found surprisingly little information on the backstory of this game while researching for this episode. I was unable to find who invented it, what the inspiration was, or anything more than simply reviews on how to play it, which I avoided looking at because I wanted my initial reactions in this episode to indeed be my initial reactions. Pretty much all I know is that this is a twag, a toy with a game. 
Granny sits sleeping in a chair with a tray of treats. The players take turns stealing treats off her tray until Granny abruptly wakes up and spits her teeth at him, which means that not only do they lose the game, they have to clean Granny's dentures. But <laughs> you're also in for a big butt whooping with a wooden spoon. At least that's the way it was with my grandma Alma, but I always had it coming every single time. Okay, enough of this trip down the polygrip path. Let's get into this game of Greedy Granny. Here we have our game of Greedy Granny. Put it here on the table and let's look over the box here. Great graphics on the front. You got Greedy Granny jumping out of her chair. She's not spitting her dentures in the picture. Looks like she's spitting one of those grandma cookies you know the kind without much flavor in them but they got this weird red dot in the middle of them yeah one of those i'm sure somewhere she's got a bowl of little hard candies nobody likes but we eat them when we're at grandma's house because there's nothing else to grab at least until dinner time oh wait there's her dentures right there okay so she's spitting out her dentures and a cookie got a little hand coming in here grabbing a pretzel and over here, you've got one of those unfrosted, flavorless cookies. And a tiny little picture of what the game actually looks like down here in the corner. All well and good. Let's have a look at the sides. And the sides says, uh, will you risk it for the biscuit? Biscuits are what they call these things in Europe. And Goliath Games, being from Deutschland, well, there you go. And it looks like... All the sides have the exact same artwork, so let's have a look at the back. Okay, here's the back. We've got uh, kids playing the game, as usually it is on these kind of things. Showing the spinner, close-up of the game, how it sets up, and then kind of Granny jumping out of the chair. Would you risk it for a biscuit? Granny loves treats, and she wants to keep them all for herself. When Granny falls asleep, it's time to make your move. On your turn, swipe a treat from her tray, but be careful. One wrong move can wake Granny up and send her chompers soaring. Contents, one Granny in an armchair, which apparently comes in two pieces. One set of Granny's teeth, one spinner card with plastic spinner, and 12 treats complete with instructions. Right, well, without further ado, Let's crack Granny open. We shouldn't need a knife or anything to pop this tape. We might need it later for some assembly. Who knows? And I'm thinking, well, look in the box. It looks interesting. Lots of different colors going on here. <laughs> I say, you know, usually I pull one thing out at a time. But in this case, I think I'm just gonna dump the box. There we go. And how about we, uh, we'll lose the box for now. Maybe just kind of set it to the side. Got instructions. And we know what we do with instructions, right? We toss them. And we try to figure it out without them. We will refer to them if we need to. So, very interesting. I'm gonna save the star of the show for just a moment here. And we're gonna start with the spinner. The spinner is well protected in its packaging. And I like that, that's good stuff. It shows that it was actually made by people who care or maybe by people who didn't wanna deal with returns. It's cardboard, kinda of thin. Kind of, kind of warpy, kind of cheapy, but does it work? Not so much. Oh, oh, okay. The the back of it kind of popped out, so it did. It needs to be set down on a table so that it pops up correctly, and then, and then you can spin it. You want to be careful about holding the sides there. All right. So we've got frowny faces, a no go. 1x, 2x, 3x on the board with various arrows. 
It looks like some of these arrows say if you land on those, go to the tree. I think the green means lose a turn and the purple means proceed and tells you how many treats. Oh, I think it's how many treats you take and how many treats you give back. I don't know. It looks like I'm going to have to refer to the instructions so I know what the heck to tell you guys to do. But now let's have a look at these various parts. And uh, I'm starting to get a dark feeling about this game from some of the stuff I see here. Let's, uh, we've got Granny's Dentures. We've got three nasty biscuit cookies. Got three weird grandma red cookie things. Three pretzels, that's what I'd be going for. And we got some other types of nasty rectangular biscuits that nobody wants. And Ready for this? Two severed arms. Apparently she caught one of the kids. Actually, the, the arms are kind of uh, bony and uh, these are old lady arms actually. So obviously those are granny's arms and we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to build her like a robot. And speaking of which, hopefully this is mechanical and we don't need batteries. I do not see a battery compartment. But uh, that would be really cool if we didn't need batteries for this thing. But I like it when it's made just to work out of the box. When you have to put batteries and stuff, that's when they die and then you just stop messing with it. Okay, so we've got Granny's chair with her torso has been severed apparently. And there's a, a treat tray. And I guess you push the button for how many times you got to go. She's got her legs all, all sticking out here. <laughs> Something tells me I'm going to like this game. All right, I'm not really sure what to do here, but I am very, very happy that I don't see any battery compartment. That means I don't have to interrupt the filming, the recording here, to go get batteries. Now let's uh, let's break grandma. Let's break out granny. Okay. That's a scary sight. Oh. And for those of you listening to the podcast, that is not her coffin lid opening and closing. I'm actually just moving her arms up and down, and it makes her eyes close and her mouth shut. Now, uh, her dentures, I'm going to assume, go... It uh, looks like it's her bottom dentures. I kind of see how they, they fit in there. So um, I'm going to just assume you stick her dentures in right there. Let's go ahead and put in her arms. Obviously, the way they go. I don't think the arms really matter, but, you know, we want Granny to have some hands here. Because, you know, Granny needs to make dinner at some point tonight. And talk to you for an hour on your way uh, leave as she walks you to your car. Oops, spit the dentures already. Yeah, I'm guessing the top part just clicks into the bottom part, so it looks like. Can't imagine it doing anything else. I do, I have no idea. Oh, I see. You, I got it now. You put her dentures in. Um, I'm gonna assume we'll just go in the bottom with those. And then you lean her back in her chair and it makes her go to sleep. Ah, night, night, Granny. I'm going to put a bunch of treats on her tray. And I'm going to refer to the instructions here to see what we're supposed to do. Okay, so now we have Granny asleep in her chair. We're all set up here. Let's go ahead and uh, play this game. See what the instructions say. Greedy Granny is a mischievously fun game that is perfect 
for the whole family. Your mission is to swipe a treat of each type from Granny's tray as carefully and quietly as you can. One wrong move will wake her up and send her teeth flying. Will you risk it for a biscuit? The instructions look pretty clear, pretty basic. I'm not too worried about it. The youngest player goes first. Well, that would be me. <laughs> By spinning the spinner. If the spinner lands on purple, the player must put a treat back if they have one. And press the button the number of times indicated on the spinner. Okay, I have three X, so I've got to press this button three times. One, two, three. And I lose! <laughs> I guess that's pretty obvious. Okay, so obviously this is very simple. Okay, this is pretty simple. Of course, you got to put her teeth in before you reset the game. And we'll stick her teeth back in. Put Granny back to sleep here. And of course, the treats go flying as well. <laughs> and if you land on green, that tells you how many treats you take and how many times you push the button. Aim of the game, collect one of each treat. If Granny wakes up, the player who woke her must place all of their treats back on her tray. Once the player's treats have returned, reset Granny and the game continues. Okay, the no sign here. That is miss a turn. The one with the two people, the happy face and the frowny face right there. That's take a treat from any player who has a treat. And 3X means press the button three times. Winning the game, be the first player to collect one of each type of treat and keep Granny snoozing to win. So we've got how many different types of treats? We've got two different types of rectangular biscuits, one red round thing, and we've got, and we got pretzels. Three red round things, a couple of pretzels. Okay, so you need to... Basically collect four different types of treats here in order to win the game. Well, let's see what happens here. I'm going to spin the spinner here. We're going to see if I can win this thing, but you guys get the idea, right? So here, let's, uh, let's spin. Oh, I take three treats and I have to push the button three times. One, two... Three. So I took three different types of treats here. Now, do I get to take three treats? Is, is that how many treats I get to take? Oh, no, you're only supposed to take one. That's how many times you push the button. But in the interest of making this game go faster, I'm going to take three treats here. Put them right here, and I'm also going to press the button three times. One, two, three. Okay. Spin again. Uh, I get to take one from another player, which I don't have another player, so let's spin again here. Put a treat back. I'm on green. Take a treat. Take back the one I just had, and I get to push the button one time. Oh, I didn't push it when I sent it back. I didn't push one, so I'll just go ahead and push that twice to make up for that. Alright, so spin the other way here. Put back a treat. I am losing all over the place here. This could take a while. Lose a turn. Well, a little hard to do when you're playing by yourself. Lose a turn. Take two treats. Okay. If I get take these two treats and she doesn't wake up, which I think she's going to because I had to press the button twice. So I'm going to probably lose here. And I lose. But anyway, you guys get the idea. And that's how you play Greedy Granny. On a scale of one to ten false teeth, I'm going to give her, uh, I don't know, let's say eight and a half dentures. And before we spit our own dentures here at the Dandy Funhouse, I'd like to ask that if you found any value at all in this episode, please consider supporting the production of future episodes by visiting the patronage page at our website, dandyfunhouse.com. 
Supporters gain access to exclusive bonus features and super supporters gain access to those exact same features. Plus, I'll personally mail you something completely saliva free from right here at the Dandy Funhouse Studios if you provide your mailing address. <laughs> and while you're on the website, don't forget to check out our awesome Dandy Funhouse t-shirts. I like them a lot. As well as our new no robots t-shirt tell cyberdyne where to stick it ai is not taking your job podcast listeners can support through their listening app of choice if the app supports it look for a button with a little dollar sign on it and five star reviews wherever you can leave them always get our undying gratitude well i'd love to stay and chew the free dent with you a little longer but now it's time to get gone Come back soon, right here to the Dandy Fun House, where everything is always fun and dandy. Granny, Granny, can I have a pretzel? I'm <laughs> Five. Greedy Granny. Steal her cookies, but don't wake her up. One false move is all it takes. They've woken Granny, and there go her teeth. Greedy Granny. Only a Toys R Us.